Hey everybody, it's me, Super Paul Games. Welcome back to The Sims. So last time, if you remember, we had a bit of a problem with a car that went to move. Apparently there's a dog there that is mad at people. <laughs> and we were worried about Jellyfield's dying. I was able to get that all fixed. Unfortunately, it means Jellyfield's promotion was rescinded, but everybody's alive. I got worried there for a moment. I didn't want people to die because of that. I don't want people to die, period, but certainly not because of that. What's up, judgmental dog? Bailey's like, I'm judging you so hard. Whoa! What do you got, rabies? Get the fuck out of here, you dog! Why aren't you on a leash? Oh, oh okay. I was gonna make you leave, but uh, you and Paranormal Penguin are bonding. Oh, good. Super Paul, why don't you make something to eat for everybody? Serve... Make, make some hamburgers for everybody, bro. Oh, and answer the damn phone. Oh, maybe Angel Cake's got it. I don't know who you are. Is Super Paul available to talk? Say no! Say no, Angel Cake! She's like, yes, he is. Damn it, Angel Cake! I don't want to talk to that guy! I don't even know him. I'm making hamburgers. No, I'm not going to talk to him. You know what we could use in this dirty house? We could use a dishwasher or a trash compactor, so why don't we do that? Let us delete the counter here. Let us go to appliances. Um, we want a dishwasher. Shiny things, air wisp air uh, dishwasher. Tired of losing sleep from loud automatic dishwashers, the wisp air dishwasher uses patent and hydrophonic technology. Does that mean it's a stereo too? Containing bio longitudinal, high frequency, low oscillation sonic waves. It cleans with the power of sound, as well as soap and water to quietly scrub your dishes. It's a silent revolution in cleanliness. Or we can get the big brown one. No, let's get the, uh... Will that not fit there, honestly? Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, it can go under the counter and I destroy the countertop. Because I'm a genius. All right, we'll put the dishwasher there. Now I have to see if I can find what kind of countertop we had. Uh, it wasn't a table. Oh, it was this one. All right, there we go. Look, Angel Cake, you don't have to do dishes by hand anymore. We have an awesome sauce dishwasher. Ding! Hamburgers are done. Get your beefy buns in there. Super Paul's gaining enthusiasm in cu cuisine. He can now serve chips and dip platters. Great. Good for him. Come on, who wants some beefy time in their mouth? Put your beef in my mouth. Um, Paranormal Penguin, no? Come on, get some angel cake. Delicious. Did somebody ruin the computer when I wasn't looking? Oh my god. I swear, you people. Uh, Super Paul has a little mechanical skill. Maybe he can fix it now. Oh my word! Sir Ian has promoted, been promoted to city council member. That means he would have had to have won an election? Go, Sir Ian! He's like, I won my first election. You're no longer a campaign member. You're now a city council member. Your first elected post. You've finally been admitted to Sin Sim City. It's not Sin City. It's not Las Vegas. Is inner power circle. A well-paid job to be sure. The more persuasive and creative you are in pushing your own agenda through the council, the faster you advance in politics. Holy shit, a bonus of 1300 bucks. Go, Sir Ian. You are the man. He is super tired, though. Oh, somebody's calling. Sir so Ian's like, oh man, politics is hard. I worked so hard to finally get elected to city council. Good night, I'm going to bed. It's the finger guns, man. Finger guns in a suave robe. What are you doing, paranormal penguin? What, were you impressed now that he's a city councilman? Man? He's not multiple men? <laughs> uh, I guess whoever was calling quit. Oh, wait, no, they didn't. Quickly to the phone, Super Paul. Mm, look at everybody enjoying my meefy bun burgers. Put in your mouth. 
Hello, you've been selected to try our new magazine. Would you like to subscribe to the Cuisine magazine? Let me think about it. No, Dillweed, get fucked. I cook because we need to eat. I don't care about your damn magazine. Hi, Angel Cake. Super Paul, quit going to bed so early. Play some rock and guitar. No, perform. Don't practice. Perform rock. No, that is not rock. Quit doing your practice session. Angel Cake is like, I need power and money and wealth. I'll never get it in this shit. <laughs> It's okay, Angel Cake. It's okay. Chill. Prepare to rock. Prepare to rock harder than you have ever rocked before. That's about how well I play in real life. Paranormal Penguin, but the rock show is started. The cock show could start if... Oh, uh, she's already in bed. As is Surrey in. They're missing out. Angel Cake! Ooh, Angel Cake, are you gonna use our new dishwasher? <laughs> Poor Angel Cake, what a terrible childhood and teen years if that's the exciting thing she gets to do. <laughs> Come on, dance! It's a party, Angel Cake! Yeah, give me your money, girl! Yeah! I'm making a friend! Damn it! Jimmy Lewis, come back here with that newspaper, you twat! Oh, I should have put this in the room with Stonehenge. Because then Stonehenge could be in danger of being trampled. Holy crap! What the fuck? Mr. Squishy got promoted too? Mr. Squishy has been promoted to birthday party mascot. What? How is that a stand up from. How is that a step up from stand up comedian? Working birthday parties is not a step up from stand-up comedian. That is a step down. To gain a little job stability, you have given up a little dignity. Sure, you have to paint your face each day and perform lame magic tricks, but add a little creativity to your routine and you'll find room to grow. So he's like, I gave up on stand-up comedy. I'm a party clown now. Are you in clown makeup when you come home, bro? He's like, I am so depressed. What does he He's 68 years old, and he's given up his stand-up career to become a party clown. It's all right, party clown man. Poor Mr. Squishy, I feel bad for him. Hey, at least he's got a friend in Syrian, and he kind of likes Super Paul. Come on, Mr. Squishy, listen to my jams. He's like, no, I'm going to go sleep in my room in love and despair. Pee bedroom. Come to me, Stonehenge. There we go. Now it's... Now it's slightly like Spinal Tap. <laughs> that is too cool. I don't know if it's made the room any better, but... It makes me happy. That's the important thing. It would be nice to put some more decoration in the room, I guess. Maybe? Oh wait, there's supposed to be a door back there! I had to go back a little ways because of the error that we had before. Well, I'll rebuild that at the end of this episode, so it'll be back like it was. Welcome back, Jellyfields! Man, things are going good. Yeah, that, that car error was terrible. Because what happened is initially I was like, okay, I'm going to force it out. Then Mr. Squishy disappeared and Jellyfields died. And I'm like, no, I don't have a problem if they died legit legitimately. Oh, I don't want it to happen, but not because of a game glitch. So when I fixed it, it moved us back a little bit. Not all the way back to the beginning of any other episodes, but just back a little bit. Hello, Chloe. You and Jellyfields get along well. She's like, I like to fight with Mr. Squishy. Don't tell anybody. I told him I'll tell the cops, and they'll take him away for beating me. <laughs> Mr. Squishy's actually in a pretty good mood. I guess he's happy that he became a party clown. And just keep going to sleep. 
as a super Paul. I hope Paranormal Penguin is not mad that she woke up in the same room as me. Look, I'm sorry, girl. You know what happens. I just want to be your friend again. So I hugged... Uh, what was it? It say Squishy Pants. That's not who it was. Uh, nothing like throwing some balls around late at night. I don't know, that's kind of quaint. Somebody did say earlier that they wanted us to um, make the pool area better. And you know what? Why don't we do that a quick second? So why don't we get really fancy and put some tile around it. Oh, I like that. All right, so we got some tile around it. And then now we need... It would be nice to kind of have a bench out here or something so somebody could come out here and sit. Um, that's all right. But what else do we got? Ooh, like a real bench. Oh, we could put a hammock out here, too. We're going to put a hammock out here. You know, you, you can enjoy a, a rest in the... Oh, shit, butts. No, not in your ship. You know what I mean. You enjoy a rest in the hammock while you're watching people swim. Say, so we'll put that there. It'd probably be good to put something under it. No, I don't want tile. What about... Oh, what's that? Grout? No. Sid cement flooring? Yeah, we'll just put a little chunk of cement under there. That's all right. It's not perfect. It's not perfectly symmetrical or anything. It looks a little nicer. In fact, I wonder... Where are the outdoor lights? Maybe we could put some lights out here, too. Oh, here's some outdoor lights. Yeah, that, that'll make it quaint. Yeah, that's really cozy. You can come out here for a nice night swim and hang out. I like that. Maybe eventually we'll build a privacy fence. I don't know. That's beyond me. I just spent a lot more money on that than I realized. That might have been a mistake. That might have totally been a mistake. Ew. Tell me the toilet is broken and that Chloe's not standing in somebody's pee. I'm like, the toilet's got to be broken. Of course. Jellyfields is the only one up, apparently. Everybody's enjoying some sleeping times. Chloe, you can probably leave. Ew, she's eating a stale, nasty hamburger. I mean, I... I understand eating leftovers, but girl, that does not look healthy. You can get some sort of disease. Eventually, we could use some nicer beds. Oh, I should have bought those. Those would have been better. We would have got sleep and comfort levels faster. Oh, well. I built a prettier pool. That's something, too. What are you going to dream about tonight, Mr. Squishy? Who the hell is this Chloe kid? She comes home all the time, or comes here all the time, and then just hangs out, plays our video games, runs up our bills. Oh, where are you going, Jellyfields? Oh, yes! Come on. Check out our new backyard. You gotta like this, don't you, girl? Hell yeah, she likes the hammock. See? It makes the backyard nicer. People can go swim. I love it. It's so kind of... Um... Oh, wait. She went to bed out there? You do have a real bed you can use. She's like, no, I'm playing Gilligan's Island back here. All right. Whatever makes you happy. Who got up? 
Time sped up. Oh, Mr. Squishy did. I hope he dresses as some... Oh, man. He's mad at Paranormal Penguin. Oh, it's 2 a.m. I was thinking it was a little later in the day. Oh, wow, Mr. Squishy cleaning up. I love it. All right, let's serve some breakfast for someone. Let's make some pancakes, Super Paul. Get everybody off for a good day. You know, we have a lot of bad days. Get everybody full of the food. Put them in a good mood. Get them ready for work, for promotions. Especially Mr. Squishy. He's going to be dealing with kids all day. They're going to be annoying and like, ah -ha! throw things at him. You know, we want to give him a bunch of energy. He's getting up there, though. He's 68, last I checked. Yep, 68 days old. Oh, wait, I'm way older than that in real life. And by that, I mean days, not years. He's running out of lifespan, though. Come on, Mr. Squishy, we want you to get a promotion. Mr. Squishy's gained a point of cleaning by cleaning the puddle. Good, old people love to clean. Clean it all up, old man. <laughs> He wants to go fly a kite, apparently. Oh, talk about a hobby. Look at those delicious pancakes. Mm, I want some now. Breakfast is on, bitches. Come get some. Wow, he's even cleaning the toilet. Go, Mr. Squishy. Nom nom here, nom nom there, and a couple of fa la la's. That's how Super Paul noms his day away. What are you looking at, Mr. Squishy? You looking for aliens? Get some food on, bro! Make all these pancakes for you ingrates! You know what? Super Paul's gonna take a risk after this, too. And he is going to try and repair this computer. That might be a bad idea, but he has one mechanical point now. What are you yelling at out the window, Mr. Squishy? Hmm. <gasps> Super Paul has gained a point of mechanical skill from repairing the Mr. Humble's computer. Hmm. Holy Blah -blah. shit, I did it! Blah -blah. Mm -hmm. ah! What the hell was that? I got scared, apparently. But either way, I got a mechanical skill point. I still need to get promoted from Fact Checker. And I fixed the computer! Hell yeah! You know what, Super Paul, it's time for you to get that promotion. What time do you go to work? You go to work at 9 a.m.? No, don't worry about cleaning. You're going to go take a... Uh, use the other bathroom. That one's nasty. <laughs> use the bathroom. Uh, take a shower. We're going to get you in the best of moods that we can before we're at work. Because it's time to finally get out of this stupid fact-checker job. Ah, uh, look at him get happier and happier the more he poops. Mr. Squishy, for somebody who's got the, um, what is it, the goal, the desire to be popular, I'm amazed how much time you spend by yourself in your room. Just really... And here's our famous councilman, Sir Ian! I wonder what he needs for the next promotion. He needs some mechanical skills and... No, charisma and logic. I almost said the wrong one. I was going to be like, why does he need mechanical? Ah, Serene, you woke up. I'm in the good bathroom. You've got to use the fucked up one. Both toilets... No, get out of here, Serene. No. I think both toilets are clogged. Ew. Seriously, Sir Ian, did you make me get out of there? Oh. Hey, Mr. Squishy. Uh, no, oh, I do not want to flirt with you. Get your ass over here, bro. Mr. Squishy, come on. Hang out with me. Why won't you play chess with me? <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> Sir Ian, you want to play chess with me? Oh, he's automatically coming over here. Never mind. 
It's like finger guns. It's like now that I'm a successful, famous city councilman, Super Paul's like, that's nice, but you like sumo wrestlers? What do these guys think about each other? Ooh, Sir Ian and Super Paul are best of friends. Apparently, Super Paul thinks he's best friends with Paranormal Penguin. Um, Paranormal Penguin, oh, does feel the same way about him, even though she hates him right now. Well, everybody, that's gonna be the end of this episode. Oh, yes! Hit her in the face again! Pillow fight! <laughs> I'll see y'all next time. Thanks so much for hanging out.